In this chapter, we are going to learn about the advanced user interactions, also known as AUI in Selenium. For example, uh, I am going to take a different website that is jQueryUI.com because some of the uh, application in my application, some of the AUI stuffs are not working well. So just to give you the demonstration, I am going to use this jQueryUI.com. Okay. And what is AUI basically? For example, we have done so far like uh, how to do the click action, how to do the alert, uh, I mean, handling the alert, window handle, frame, everything. But we might have not seen something like this, right? So if I want to drag it around, then or uh, if I have to drag and drop from one element to if I have to uh, drag and drop to another element, we haven't performed like this, right? So we are going to learn few of the concepts from like actions class. So the AUI part, uh, in web pages, if you had, if you have to handle that, we will follow that, or we will perform that with the help of actions class in Selenium. Let us see the demo. Okay, so first of all, we'll use the simplest one, draggable. So I'm going to just drag it from one place to another place. It can be like little or anywhere, right? So it doesn't say like where we have to move. So we'll just move this from one place to another. Okay, so for that, we are going to take this URL first, and I'm going to and do maybe three two or three so i'm just going to write everything within the functions okay so let me uh, write this one so in the class level i'm going to declare the chrome driver first okay and then i'm going to create a few functions here so first one is going to be uh, i can create a static so that i no need to create any object i can call directly within the main method right so static void and i will say like uh, draggable first time we are going to do that draggable okay and what we are going to do is basically <clears throat> uh, let's create the main method here and within the main method we will create the object so driver equal to new and then followed by chrome driver okay and uh, we'll just add the implicit way to add as well because already i said we that is what recommended so driver dot uh, we are not getting any suggestions because this is a static function and this is a non-static so we cannot call so i'll just make this as a static here as well okay now i will get all the suggestions because there is no compile time error so driver dot manage dot uh, timeouts and implicitly wait of uh, 10 seconds is fine for this application it will be a little faster comparing to others okay now let me explain this yeah so that is what uh, before that of course we have to get the url so we'll do that here so driver dot uh, get and we'll paste the url okay now as soon as i right click you can see that it has a like view frame source so of course we can know that uh, it is the element is within the frame so we have to switch to the frame um so for that um what we are going to do is we are going to find the number of frames so if i say like double slash iframe we can see that we have only one of one so i can use based on the index so driver dot um switch to dot frame and i'm going to give it as zero right that's it pretty cool now what we are going to do we are going to first find this particular element and if i inspect i can see that it has a id called draggable so i'm going to copy and i'm going to say driver dot uh, find element by id and then I'm going to give the ID and I'm going to store it as a uh, SRC. That means it is my source element, right? Let me bring up this little top. Yeah. Now I'm going to perform the actions class. So if I give like SRC dot draggable, I don't have anything like draggable move to element or something like that in the web driver or the in the web element. So what can I do? I can create an object for the actions class that is inbuilt class in the Selenium. So here I have to call like actions and make sure you are going to uh, i mean import it correctly so that is actions okay and you can see the package it is from org.openqa.selenium.interactions okay and then we'll name it like builder why builder uh, similarly here we are saying like chrome driver driver because because driver is like your global uh, used the name is used globally similarly similarly for actions also builder is um, used globally okay Okay, anyways, just a naming convention. So if you have to give like ABC, you can do it, but I will not recommend to do that because we have to follow some standards. And new, uh, we have to say the we have to call the constructor, and within the constructor, we have to pass the driver. 
Now, if you notice here, we have like constructor overloaded. So one is with keyboard, one is with web driver, and another one is with the keyboard and mouse, right? And if you notice, he they have stacked it out. That means they are deprecated. Deprecated in the sense, this constructor or any of the functions that are deprecated might not be available in the upcoming versions. Okay, so we should not use that. So remaining, of course, we have this web driver. So we are going to use that. When I say web driver, that means definitely the Chrome driver because the inheritance concept, everything, right? So web driver is the interface. Chrome driver is the class. Okay. Now we are going to uh, say builder dot. Um, we are going to do the drag and drop, right? So we can say like drag and drop. And here in the first first function, drag and drop, uh, that needs a source element and the target. But in our case, we do not know the target. So we are going to use the second function, drag and drop by. Remember, it is not drag and drop, drag and drop with uh, overloaded concept. They are having different names. So it is different, different methods. So drag and drop by. And here the source is fine. Now we have to give the offset. Offset in the sense, the location. Now, if you remember, we already know how to get the location of any of the element, right? So for that, I'm going to say like src dot get location. And that's going to return me uh, the location. And from the location, uh, we have already discussed that we can get the point. Now this point can give me the X and Y coordination. For example, I can say like location dot get um, X and then I can say like uh, location dot get y okay uh, that's it pretty much cool but if I say get x and get y that's going to return me the integer that is fine but it will give the default location what I have to do is basically I will get the default location and I will add some value to that so that it will just move little bit here and there okay so I'm going to say uh, maybe I can just add like 20 and here also 20 okay so let's see what is going to happen but if i run this the code will not execute to execute this code what we have to do is we have to call the dot perform function here so what is dot perform in the sense uh, when i say builder dot drag and drop it will not work until i call the perform so perform is basically we are instructing the actions class that hey i have sequence of actions i have completed the actions now we can do the real action so this will basically try to create a virtual keyboard or the mouse and then it will try to do the drag and drop okay whatever the function we are going to call that is going to work okay now we'll just call this draggable within this uh, main method and let's try to run this now okay so i'm going to run as java application hopefully it should run but we'll see actions class have one problem it will not throw us any of the exception. So if the drag and drop is working or not working, we cannot understand anything, okay? But still actions class have two exceptions. Um, if I remember correctly, one is like uh, some element boundary exception. That means, um, okay, let me show you this one side. So here you can see the action, basically it moved from here to here, right? So that's working, that's fine. Uh, one, ex one exception is basically like, if you are trying to move from the outer space, uh, for example, let's say that I'm going to move it to Y of 2000 here. Okay. Let's try to run this. Not sure whether it's going to throw us the exception, but we'll just try. Yeah, we got exception and the exception name, I forgot that is why I'm recreating. And here you can see moved target out of bound exception. So that means uh, there is no space to move from this to like this, like 2000, but uh, we are trying to move. So that is why we are getting exception. And you can see that it is already present within the interaction package. So if I go to that particular package, maybe I can see like what are the other exception we have. So let me try to find that one. Um, so where can I see that? Okay, maybe I can just move within the actions and uh, this is basically within the folder of which folder I mean which package interaction package over so this interaction package only um, how can I see how many exception we have yeah so this is the guy we have another exception like invalid coordinates exception okay so in actions class, most of the people says that we don't get any exception. That is wrong actually. Uh, 
uh, we will get two exception majorly one is the invalid uh, coordination exception and another one is the uh, moved target out of bound exception okay so this is how we have to find how did i find this basically i went to that particular package and from there i searched for this guy like end of ending with exception that is how you have to learn also so if you just try see here we have a lot of uh, classes right so based on the classes we have we'll get some functions okay let's not worry you really don't have to learn everything uh, but if you have time definitely you can okay okay now next move to the next one so we have performed the draggable next we are going to perform the uh, drag and drop so i'm going to make a new function as droppable uh, it's going to be more of same so i'll just copy and paste over here and what we'll do we will just change this to droppable so drop uh, what is the spelling i forgot so let me see let me see here yeah pp abl droppable okay and next of course i have to change the url so we'll copy and um, replace this guy and i know that already frame is there so we'll just use the same switch to frame and uh, then this guy basically i have to get two elements now okay so let's go and inspect so first one is basically <clears throat> this one so it has id called draggable so let me store that which is already we stored and the destination is this guy which is which have a id called droppable so we are going to store that here as well okay so i can say like driver dot find element by id and the value <coughs> and i can store that as a web element as a target right so target okay now uh, i don't have to use this function other than that we have another functions like builder dot um uh drag and drop and here my source is this target is this and of course you should call the perform function now in most of the blocks the uh, maybe three or four years earlier blocks you can see something like uh, dot build dot perform okay uh, this is correct nothing wrong but the selenium has got few updated i believe um, from the version 3.6 if i'm not wrong uh, we no need to use this build functions basically if i go within the perform you can see that uh, not here if i go to the particular implemented class uh, that will internally calls the build functions let me show you that okay so i'm going to move to this actions class and uh, here we have a function called perform and here you can see they are internally calling the build.perform that means we no need to call to the build function so that is not triggered but i think most of the blocks are not updated updated their code base um so don't get uh, worried like hey kaushik you are teaching me wrong i won't okay so you can trust me so build is not required even if you enter uh if you if you use that's fine nothing wrong about it okay so i'm going to replace the draggable with the droppable now now let's go and execute this one and here you can see the beauty so the drag and drop is work right so in this way we can uh, do the drag and drop or we can do the drop and drop. now a few other things uh, like uh, how to do the uh, move to element move to element is very simple for example if you take uh, applications like uh, um, uh, how, how do i say that uh, okay if i go to the flipkart.com Okay, I think uh, yeah. So if I see, if I see, if I see here, if I click mouse hover, right? Uh, I'm not clicking on the fashion. Basically, I'm clicking. I'm doing the mouse hover. If I mouse hover on this, you are able to see this pop up, right? Um, so let's say that I want to click on the fashion, and then I can click on to the men's footwear, right? In that scenario, I should not click on this fashion. I have to do the mouse hover, right? So for that, we have a function called move to element. Of course, I don't want to show all the examples. I will just give you the uh, quick walk through difference okay so if you want to perform like mouse hover you can use the uh, move to element okay similarly um, if i go to play dot uh, let code dot in that is our older website don't use use the let code but still i want to show you something so here we have a beautiful thing called um, context menu where is that mouse so uh, not this one a Y and um, this page will work actually so you can if you want to practice you can use that page um, we have something like a uh, context menu here so here you can see if i click the left click i'm doing the left click nothing is happening but if i click on the right click you can see we are getting the small pop-up here right 
So this is known as context click. Context click in the sense, if you want to do the right click on your mouse, we can use the function called context click. Okay. And context click, when I say context click, that doesn't mean that we can interact like back, reload, save as, print, cast. This is not part of your HTML DOM. So we cannot click on any of this. What we can do is we can click, right click, and this will, this is actually coming from the, your DOM, HTML DOM in the sense, document object module, right? Then we can do the context menu, okay? Now, uh, these are the functions we use mostly, drag and drop, drag and drop by, uh, similarly move to element, a context click or double click and few other things. So if I go to the actions class, probably uh, if I give control O, you can see we have a lot of functions. We, if you want to do actions related to your mouse, like um, uh, key down, key up, send keys. Also we have send keys, we have the click and hold, we have release, we have click. Um, and double click move to element we have a lot of things here but if you notice carefully most of the functions are overloaded functions so we have like two functions for each and everything so if you want to key down you can use the character sequence or you can use the web element and the character sequence key up similarly we have overloaded send keys we have overloaded like this we have like almost overloaded functions so there might be like around 10 to 12 methods i believe so definitely it will be very tough to show you all the demos but you know how to create the object how to call the functions so definitely you can do yourself okay with that said i'm closing this chapter see you in the next one